It's time for us to talk about the four BS excuses that most people make that keep them from their freedom. Yep. The most frightening thing about these four BS excuses, and I'm going to keep calling them BS excuses because it's important we say things are as they are, is that not only are they BS, they also deeply socially acceptable excuses and reasons to let ourselves and others off the hook for doing the things that they say they want. And their four BS excuses are time, money, other people in our lives, and actually ourselves. So let's unpack them a little bit more because we need to understand these and notice how often we use them in our lives. And the first most important one is time. Now, time is one of our most precious resources, but it's also a huge excuse that most people make. They'll go, you know, and I really want to learn how to start investing, or I want to learn how to create an online business that can just earn me passive income, or I want to get in place that investment idea, or I want to go and research investment property and find those deals. Oh, I just don't have the time. You know, we're busy, busy, busy. Here's the truth. Every single person on this earth and Mars, if there are others there, we only get the same amount of time. Yes, there are only those 24 hours in every day, seven days in every week, you know, 30 or 31, sometimes 28 days in every month. That's it. Yet some people manage to get a lot done with that time and others just squander it. But you'll find those people who are able to achieve a lot, get a lot done, truly value their time first off, and never ever use time as the excuse for not doing the things they want, starting that business, getting that investor happening, writing that book. So if you find yourself starting to use time as an excuse, know that one, it is one of the most devastating excuses, BS excuses we can use. And actually, the more we use time as an excuse, the more we believe it. And the longer we leave before we do the things we need to do. Getting rid of that debt, getting out of that relationship that's not serving, getting assets invested, doing that thing that you've really wanted to do because time runs out. And many of the things, real success and sustainability needs re time to grow. We need time for mastery. We need time for compounding to take effect. So the more you use time as an excuse to not get started, the more it actually becomes a very valid reason of why you won't achieve your success. So if you're catching yourself saying, oh, I would, I just don't have the time, catch yourself with that and know that it's one of the fatal BS excuses because we find the time for things we value you will absolutely find the time. And we become more effective and efficient, learn how to get more from your time and have the discipline to go, where are you squandering your time? And we, you know, we could do a whole session on just great time management, but find a way, but stop using time as your excuse. The next key BS excuse is money. Deeply socially acceptable to go, oh, I would, I just don't have the money. Again, whether it's that amazing trip you say you want to take, whether it's that investing, whether it's that business, whatever it is, money is and time are the two deeply socially acceptable. So what do I mean by socially acceptable? If you say, if somebody says, oh, you know, I'd really love to you know, learn how to dance the flamenco. And you go, great, well, why don't you do it? Oh, well, I'm so busy, I just don't have the time. And you know, it costs money and I, I don't do that. Most people just back off. And friends will go, oh yeah, I get it, your life's so busy, and they'll go down and wallow in that pity party with you in that whole victim excuse. But a real friend, somebody who really cared about you, would say, well, how could you find that time? Well, how would you find the money? If it was truly that important to you, what could you do? How could you do it? And that is always a far better way of going, instead of, I can't afford it, or I don't have the money, say, how could you? What else could you do? Because that triggers our creativity. So please know, money or the lack of money is never a problem. The problem is lack of, of actually wanting it. It's lack of creativity. And may I even be so bold as to say laziness to let ourselves off the hook, to find a way to have and create the life that we really want. So there you go. Time and money excuses are out the window. So what's next? Our next is other people. Again, deeply socially acceptable. 
oh yes and I really you know I'm going to start investing but once the kids education is sorted out I really want to get into this but you know my husband he's not on board and and you know he doesn't think this is you know investing is a scary thing or you know my kids are still doing this or I need to still look after my parents other people become again a deeply acceptable excuse for us to not get on and live the life that we want and you don't understand I've got my kids my partner, my parents, my siblings, and I get it. I've even used my fur kids sometimes as an excuse for not doing what I need to do. Oh, you know, Cara Bracken, I need this. But the reality, it's they all BS. The greatest gift we can give to those that we truly love is to live our greatest lives and have the courage to do what it takes to find a way and stop using others as the excuse for not doing what we want, because that's actually a form of abuse on them. I mean, it's really not fair to lump our stuff on other people. And Gandhi says, we need to be the change that we want to see in the world. And you'll see this quote on lovely memes all over the place and people will sprout it around. Isn't that so lovely? Oh, be the change we want to see. That means personal accountability. We need to be the change, not I'll do it differently when I've no longer got the kid, the dog, the husband, the, the, the parent, the side. No, 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 no. It's up to us. Cut the excuses. So there we go. Oof! Three of the BS excuses are now out the window. But the final one, which is really, really at the core of the reason why most people don't take steps to what they really want, is that most of us at some point lose confidence in ourselves. And the biggest BS excuse for us to really watch out for is the not enough monster. We're not good enough. We're not ready enough. We're not prepared enough. And this not enough monster is scary. Well, and I just need to research a little bit more. I just need to work on my, you know, this online program a little bit more to make it good enough to get it out there. I'll keep editing my photography before I'll make it available for, for sale. I'm not good enough yet. And this is the greatest monster we all have to really address, not to try and build up our self-worth to the point of where we now feel so super confident and worthy, because to be human means we're always going to have doubts. There are always going to be times when we feel like a fraud. We don't feel good enough. There's not a time when I don't, before I walk on the stage, feel like I like vomit, like nervous of it, not good enough. But do you have the courage? to step up even when you're not ready, when it's not perfect. And to know that perfection or waiting for everything to be enough is the greatest way to hide, but also the greatest way for us never to get and live the life we really want. So time, money, other people, and not being enough or ready enough. Those are the greatest barriers we have to achieving the life we want, to our financial freedom, to that success in each area of our life. And we can be aware of those and where we're using those excuses in our life so we can stop using them is one of the greatest tools we can have to move forward and get on with living this great juicy life. So I'm Ann Wilson and if you're watching this anywhere then over at thewealthchef.com, head on over there. And in the comments below, I'd love to know which of those four is your go-to excuse. Which of those four is the place that you sometimes hide behind as a reason for not doing or creating the life that you really want? Have the courage to share that because when we get it out in the moment, out, we can just go, oh, that just is. And then we can start making other choices. And remember, your freedom is just created by taking one step at a time. So just keep taking those steps. Bye for now.